Father. Yes. When we cry, Abba. Out of our mouths, Abba, Father. Every time you think about it, something should make you smile. When the last time he smiled when you heard that name? He grimaced, didn't he? And somebody said, God. Because we suffer from abuse. Yes. It's quiet in this Baptist church. We do. We clinch, we flinch, we draw back, we grimace. We don't have the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit should be when we talk about the Father in worship, ow! You should be out of yourself. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Come on. They talking about my day. Yeah. 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 That's what we do, right? Then we got somebody tell us to raise our hands. Come on, put your hands together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, man. You don't know him. That's why you do it. That's, a, that's why you're, the, the demonstration of your passion and love is limited. Is, is because you haven't tasted. Like the Bible said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. When you taste them. You know what? When you taste them, uh, to run across the ground this building ain't enough. Come on. Come on. You can do squats, flips, hanging, cartwheels. Come on now. They ain't even enough for what he's done for us. Am I right? We don't have to barter him. <laughs> we barter him too much, which means we live in him. We don't have to. We should be, we should have unrestricted passion. Radical. I know we some of us are older. We got aches and pain, but you don't have aches and pain every day. Hopefully you don't. But don't go pray for you. <laughs> Amen. You can give twenty minutes of something. Ten minutes of something. We come in because we rate them on what we've been through all week. Hmm. You're bigger than your week. Well, I worked this morning. Oh, who cares? <laughs> Don't make a time for all that. We got to sort through all that stuff. He came so that we could be where he is. Talking about Jesus and the Father. Yes. Amen. That's what, that's what it's all about. That's what the gospel is all about. The yes. new covenant is all about. Yes. That's what he want to do. That's what the whole message of the gospel. From Genesis all the way to Revelation. It's always been about a father and his son. Yes. yes. And I told you a long time ago, three things about the guy here. Right? The father is looking for what? And then the son is looking for pride. And the Holy Spirit is looking for what? A temple. That's what he wants. So when I read the scriptures, that's what I see. Family, bride, temple. Temple, family, bride. Temple, father, fa temple, fa family, bride. Bride, temple, family. It's the three things we long for. And that's what God wants to bring us. Tell your neighbor, that's what he wants to bring us. That's what Jesus came to do. We got to answer that cry. That's what Jesus came to do. I'm all over the place, but I need to. Let me finish because I got to get to 20. This is what he wants to do for us, y'all. That's what the Bible is all about. The entire Bible is about it. Bringing us into the, the same relationship that Jesus had. Is that too hard to believe? No, sir. I say LGBT. That's what I say. They were like, uh-oh, where are we going with this one? No, I'm not talking about the one that they stole. I'm talking about Romans 3, 4. Let God, let God be true. That's the LGBT in the church. That's what I'm talking about. I'm saying, let God be true. Yes. Let, let God's word be settled in the heavens and settled in our hearts. Yes. Let us get to a point where we can take him at his word. Yes. We take people around us at their word, then we get broke, our face get broken because they break their word. Uh -huh. And we got a God, a father, that he said, I'm not a man that I should lie. Nor the son of man. 
if I said it, I'm going if I spoke it, see that's y'all messed up. If he said it, he gonna do it. If he spoke it, he gonna bring it to bed. I gotta unhook the cables. Unhook the cables. <laughs> but he, that's what that's what he came to do. He said, I'm the Lord, I changed not. He the same yesterday, today, and forever. Who don't want to be a part of that? I ain't never got a second guess God's goodness towards me. Because he swore by two immutable things. Yes. His word and what? And his blood. He made an oath in his word and he sealed it through his blood, through the blood of his son. The blood, by the way, that's different from Abel's. Abel's blood is vengeance. His blood says what? Mercy. Yes. When you really get understanding, his blood is all you hear in your head. Oh, he's so merciful. Yes. Tender. His mercy, tender mercy overall. Some of his work. Oh. It, yeah, okay, I ain't know. <laughs> yeah, because some of, most of us think we the black chief of the family. That he, his love don't extend to us, but it's overall yes. right. Yes. So if I stumble, stagger, he's still there. Yes. Mm-hmm. If I make a bed in hell, he there. Mm -hmm. Some of us made a few of them in hell, right? He was there. Amen. If we grab a hold, had a good time in service, he's there too. Yes. The wings of the morning, right? Yes. <laughs> Let me hurry up and give y'all a little cute Father's Day message. Okay, <laughs> Philip, Philip, Philip said unto him, I know, I know, I know. Philip said unto him, I told you a long time ago, I hate holidays. But I got to preach. I like them when they ain't got to preach. When I'm off, oh yeah, I love them. But I got to preach, I'll be like, oh, Lord, folks going to have me on the timetable. I only got a limited amount of time because our attention span going to be real thin. Real thin. We get clock eyes. We look at our watch more times on for holidays than any day. Philip said unto him, what did he say again? Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father. And it suffices us. That should be our cry. Show us the Father. No, not a dictator, not a miser. Not an abuser. He's not a white beater. He's a loving father. So I say, in my father's house, there's many mansions. In other words, there's a safe place for all of us. There's no overcrowding. You don't have to long for somebody else's gift. You can be on you. Yes. Huh? Yes. You don't have to be thirsty. <laughs> you don't have to be a copycat, a knockoff. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be cheap. <laughs> right? You can be what God calls you to be. There's no other, you ain't got to worry about the person next to you. When you get in the Father's house, when you understand it, that he went, he said, that he prepared a place so that where he is, you could be also. So there's enough room for everybody in the Father's house. I told you, I don't feel like I had to compete with anybody. Nobody can walk in my shoes. I ain't looking to walk in nobody's shoes. I got a unique grace. Amen. I'm not competing with nobody. I ain't got time for all that trifling stuff. That's the, that's the sound of an immature heart. Sound of an orphan. The Spirit of God bring you into adoption. It's the safest place in the earth. Amen. Never got to compete. He started saying, nobody can pray like you, nobody can teach like you, nobody can prophesy like you, nobody can be like you. Amen. Ain't that a, that's a powerful place, man. It's freedom. You talking about who the sun set free? He will set you free. Let's move on. First thing. Jesus said, Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? I like this as well. I'm serious. I don't do this for show. I, I do it in my head. He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then? Show us the Father. So evidently he had a conversation with them to let them know that he was the manifestation of the Father. And yet do all the works, all the demonstration, walking on waters, walking through walls, 
multiplying stuff. Mm. And Philip said, hey, enough. Mm. Okay. I think that's what we do. Show me more. Yeah. I don't believe what I've seen before. I need something that, get, show me a different angle. <laughs> come on, y'all know what we do. So, yeah, I don't believe it. And just one more time, show me something different. So we keep fleecing God. Mm-hmm. Right? Trying to get something, get him to do something outside mm-hmm. his character. Right. Mm-hmm. Next. <laughs> Believe it thou, not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. The words that I speak of you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. So listen, I'm not a, I'm not a rebel. I'm not out here on my own. I ain't got my business cards trying to tell somebody who I am. I ain't got nothing to prove, uh, Thomas. I mean, Philip. That's just one talking about. Philip, I ain't got nothing to prove. It's the Father in me. I'm, I'm securing my identity. That's what he's doing. He's verifying his deity. And it's actually, they call it a, a theosis. His Blending together, merging together with the business is a hybrid man, both God and both men. That's, that's what it is, okay? Move on. Uh, but the Father told me he does the work. Next verse. Believe me, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. So his works was was a, a confirmation of his rhetoric or his doctrine. He said, oh, yeah, I can speak to you guys and share certain aspects of the kingdom, but it's not just in my words. It's in my words. Mm-hmm. Next. He said, Verily, really, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I should, I do also. Oh, 